I am 11.11 code. This is 11.11 synchronicities with numbers. You're seeing 11.11 and you're getting lots of synchronicities in your reality. 11.11 is guiding you into the number system, the number guidance system that you can use for your life and for your desires. To get into the 11.11, you need to learn about numbers, all these numbers and their meanings. Also the 369 code, there's different number codes, I can reveal some number codes to you, but when you start learning the codes, comprehending them, then you'll get to answer the clock in another way where it can help you through your life. So when you learn number meanings, you'll see them on the clock then they resonate to you more. And that's what happens if you get the 1111 gateway and you've been getting onto the numbers and geometry. Now you're probably ready now for the upgrade, so to speak, into actually using numbers. This is how I've been using them, I'll show you. But it's to do with synchronicities as well. You can learn their meanings, all their numbers, you know, separate, like the one to nine. Right, this is how we see it in, say, the West. One to nine, yeah? The Maya goes to 13. Yeah, I learned a bit on the Maya as well. They go to 13, so you can get different interpretations for 10, 11, 12. You need to know the meanings, getting them into your consciousness. And then, if you like me, like my interpretation of when I see 12, on the clock, you see that's one, two, three, four. That's telling me I've upgraded. Or like that key piece of knowledge you've been learning. So you've been learning number meanings, then you start seeing one, two, three, four. You're probably saying you've done that bit, move on, find other meanings for other numbers. Like that, if you're looking at the clock now, you're not using it in linear time anymore. Don't judge the clock like, oh, is this a clock, that a clock? You don't do that. You just, as you look up, say you're seeing, I don't know, a certain time past the hour, that's what I use as well, so it will say 2.31, that one. And then you look at that, that's hour that four. So you look at the, the meaning of four. You only do that if you get, say, you just get 8.31, and by, you know, all different times of day, it's 31. Not only that, you might go and see it on the door number, you know, it starts revealing in your reality like it's a synchronicity. That's what I've seen before. Synchronicities are like with thoughts or feelings, like mainly your desires, and you'll see them appear in your reality. People will talk about them, um, you'll see adverts about them, you'll open a page of a book and it'll be there. And you'll know if you are connected because your life will start flowing more. You'll be getting these numbers. You know, we haven't spoken about double two, double three. These are master numbers. You can get triple numbers, which I kept getting these myself. And I was thinking, well, that's 12, which is three, and that's six. And so happens at a time that was significant for me. So, you know, then, then these numbers are sharp everywhere, you know. You might get a bill and it'll be 555 or, you know, that's how long the video will last if you looked up a video and then it would that be there. You know, it's all these synchronicities. And then if you take these into your life now, you'll see it in other ways. Say the traffic lights, you know. If you prepare yourself before you say your journey to work there and back and you say, you know what, I want I want the traffic lights to be green every time. And you watch what happens, you know, I'd say a good eighty five percent of the time they'll be green. You think how's that? You know you're in the flow, you're connected. You know the meanings of things, you know what's going on. Like me, I'll get magpies. I've said this before, but for me, the magpie means one for sorrow, two for joy. That's perfect. Because, you know, say you were driving somewhere or going somewhere, you think, is this the right way or not? You're just thinking it's in your head. You're not even asking the magpies for anything. There may be one to fly by telling it's the wrong way. That's a negative, isn't it? So then you turn around. Have it does, go down there's the right way. 
or, or even you can turn around and you end up seeing Turkey <laughs> so they do help you out that's what you see in your reality you'll see it appearing and it's all a lot of it you can see through numbers you know if you ever got a particular desire work on that desire and then a number will show up like I say it was four then four is like getting creative it's a creative number so say you was getting creative and you kept doing it what shall I do with this creativity then you're asking yourself really and then the, then the clock will reveal to you the second number you know past the clock so saying you now you're getting five fifty two so look that's seven now so if you feel like you've done your creativity then it's getting you getting a lot of seven more spiritual number seven so you're thinking you know i'm getting creative and all that maybe make it more spiritual along them sort of lines metaphysical you know like the numbers of three six and nine three six nine are powerful right? if you look into them you'll know that nine is the most powerful number because they're metaphysical the three six and the nine i mean you could argue they all are because we discovered numbers but behind the nine behind the nine holds the power to the one two four eight seven five right? that's the power of the nine that all adds up to nine so nine holds the power to all that and then behind that we've got the three and the six to say these are two pluses like that that make them a minus to nine same as the other way around get the three and the six the minus can't become a plus so there you see what I mean it cannot break they support each other so the nine's around without seeing it it's always there in, the, in this nine code I've done a video on it I feel it's like an ascension code you learn about the numbers like I'm saying to you the 11 11 is like a gateway into spirituality as well or enlightenment as I like to refer to get a lot of knowledge a lot of understanding through numbers I'm telling you that numbers were discovered numbers weren't invented no like I said before they just measured how the planet spun to know the seasons the four seasons so they can plant their veg and survive this back this back time is back to the planet back survival we've got over survival we don't need survival anymore so we don't use the clock like that now we use it for other things and we don't need that I was going to say, yeah, another thing of that as well. You wouldn't have science if you didn't have numbers because science needs an equation to prove it. So you need numbers, don't you? So, you know, numbers hold the keys, as Tesla would say, like the 3 6 foot, 3 6 9. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the 11 11 experience and you hope you keep having the experience. I used the 11 11 time now, that golden minute, to manifest in your desires. So, it's a good idea to put in anything in that minute. Whatever you feel resonates to you will help your situation or your reality. What resonates best. And I suggest you do that in the golden minute of 11 11. I am 11 11 Co. If you've got any messages, I will reply. Greatly receive any subscribers. I am peace, I am love, and I love you all.